Hello and welcome back to Let's Play For The Frog The Bell Tolls. I'm not playing Splatoon 2. Let's fix that. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's go to the west to the snake's den. Off screen I bought a bunch of eggs and joy fruit, which will hopefully last me through the rest of the game. As Mandola explained in the previous video, we can now transform into a snake, so let's use that power. So, let's ask around to find out what we can do. We snakes can slither through narrow paths. Hiss. Haven't seen you before, Hiss. I want that awesome cape that you have, Hiss. I've got a craving for frog, Hiss. So, okay. Well, they're, you're not all that helpful. Bite weak prey and your venom will paralyze it, turning it into a block, Hiss. And that is the snake's main ability, so yeah. We snakes are good climbers, but we can't jump at all, Hiss. So yeah, let's go to the snake's end. I didn't even touch you, um... I didn't even touch you again, why are you talking to me? Hiss. So, here we are at the snake's den, let's go in. So, you can crouch down and slither, like a snake. I guess you can call me Solid Snake for this segment, or Solid Sable. Which really isn't actually all that good since Sable is actually supposed to be crumbly. It's supposed to be a type of shortbread cookie. I actually went out and got a tiramisu cake just to try it out, and I did not like it. It's like an unsweetened coffee cake. Sorry, I like my sweets and I need caramel on my coffee cakes. Anyways, here's the snake's venom in action. He has the power to turn enemies into a 2x2 two two Lego bricks. My god, that's terrifying. Sign this guy up for Hyrule Warriors and have him start wrecking shit, not to mention it has the added benefit of having enemies step on them for excruciating pain. Maybe I'll do another list of characters I'd like to see in Hyrule Warriors. I've got a bad attitude, you ain't going nowhere, hiss. Okay, awesome, bye, if you need me I'll be playing more Splatoon 2. Anyways, I forgot what we were actually supposed to do, and you're supposed to transform back into a human and fight this snake in order to kill him. Yay! And by doing that we get another life stone. Which is a bit weird because I wonder why then there's a wonder ball here after the snake, after we got the life ball, but... Uh, oh well. Maybe it's for later. Anyways, I... Yeah, what I originally thought we were supposed to do was move this block, but we don't actually get the power up to move this block until later. So, anyways, onwards. Anyways, we're pretty much right at the end of this cave, ignoring that obvious jump cut right there. Uh, which was just for me to cut away fumbling around and trying to figure out the point of the water, which I will explain in a few seconds. Anyways, up north is Spring Hill. Go through the snake's den to reach Hop Hop Springs. Otherwise, um, basically the point of the water was... This whole area is filled with bugs, and it, had I transformed into the frog, this area would have been a hell of a lot easier. So, since I have some time to kill and nothing else to talk about right now, I guess I'll talk about how I found out about For the Frog the Bell Tolls. I honestly can't remember if I was binging TV tropes or Wikipedia, and I saw it mentioned there alongside Link's Awakening, or if it was Brawl's sticker of the prince. On that note, why can't I find high resolution artwork of the prince's snake form? Uh, regardless, I knew about it, but I wasn't motivated to play it until the prince was announced as an assist trophy in Smash 4. So I got the ROM, translation patch, and played through it, beat it, enjoyed it, and that didn't kill as much time as I was hoping. Great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, how about that Splatoon 2? Yeah, I have nothing else to talk about, <laughs> honestly, and I don't want to do the cutaway joke again, since, well, that's just for cutting away my, uh, stupid, uh, mistakes and stuff, but... Uh, I actually do want to do some Salmon Run, uh, and stream that, and possibly post that here, and, well, there you see me, uh, realizing I'm go not going to survive another encounter, and just returning to the Wonder Ball, and actually doing what I probably should have done in the first place, and cutting down those trees, so, yay, life is restored, and unfortunately, we get right into another battle, which, yeah, that doesn't, uh, well, it goes a bit better, but still takes a while, and... Try to avoid this bee and fail miserably because the bee moves. And I hit its square. So, yeah. Thankfully, this boss I complete. or this uh, enemy. not a boss, god. <laughs> the snails are bosses. <laughs> I completely miss, and we are now pretty much just at where we need to be. But this guy. People call me the Cellar Man. I know how to strike it rich, but I won't tell ya. Well, I'll tell ya. Win the YouTube lottery, or the regular lottery. Both have about the same odds. 
So... Anyways, yeah, let's just read this sign before entering the village. Spring Hill, the town that rings in spring. What will we do? It's horrible. Oh no, what happened? Please tell me. It's horrible. Please tell me what happened. Oh no. Oh no. Did we come all this way for no reason? What will we do? Anyways, we have to go up here. Jimby's shop, coming soon. And, uh-oh, this building is not looking promising. Tiramisu Hall, the Hall of the Spring Bell. What are you doing here? I was hoping you'd ring the bell so spring could come a bit early. Use the spring bell? Impossible! I mean, have you s it was wrecked during the quake. Then Richard and his men are in big trouble. We have to fix that. The bell is filled with Princess Tiramisu's holy power. I want to fix it too, but the Krokians stole most of our money. How much will it cost for repairs? Well, I'd say it will be about 1,067,000 nuts. 1,067,000? I've heard that number somewhere before. Isn't that the exact amount of money Mandola took from me? Th that can't be a coincidence. I knew it. Mandola works for Delarin. You there, don't worry about money. Who said that? Oh, excuse me, you seem troubled. I come from Japan to buy this kingdom's gold. I'm Japanese, businessman, Alfred Jimby. That doesn't sound Japanese, but okay. What a weirdo. So you're talking about money, right? Oh yes, I have lots of money. Ichi, Ni, San, Shi. Oh, I've got about 1,067,000 nuts, but this money is for buying gold. That's great, but I have no idea where to find gold. Oh, but seller man outside of the village to say there is huge gold mine in Kingdom. Find gold mine and you'll find gold. Okay, if it's for Richard and my dear Tiramisu, I shall bring you gold. Wait, why was Richard mentioned first? Prince, is there something you're not telling us? Well, we'll be here to support you when you're ready. But yeah, that's the next leg of the game. In order to get the spring bell repaired, we need to go on a quest to find gold. Please find gold so we can repair the bell. Even though you know it looks perfectly fine in that sprite, it's just sideways, you just need to lift it up. And here's where I pretty much decide I'm going to go buy saws because going by all those trees, I believe we need some. So... Um... So now we have to actually go out and I just buy another pack of saws just for safety, because yeah. So now we have to go fi out and uh, find gold, and let's see. This is bad. You're not helpful. And we've got... Newsflash! Spring Hill Bell Tower destroyed by qu Quake. Prince seeks uh, repairs. I probably should have actually read that before uh, gold for repair. So I probably should have actually uh, read that before, you know, um, actually stirring that cutscene to see if there was a different uh, text there. But, oh well. And there's nothing there, which uh, I was hoping there would be, but nope. Uh, and now we just have to go down and talk to Cellar Man, because... I believe everything else is blocked off. Up north, Mount Pudding, so... Which will be going there eventually, because, yeah. I'm the Cellar Man. Goldmine, I could tell you. Yes, please tell us. I don't know where it is, but my buddy in Alamode does. Come back here after you meet your my pal in Alamode. Yeah. Okay, Alamode, got it. And we have to quickly go back to Alamode, but thankfully we're just teleported there. The prince made it back to Alamode safely, but something was off. This place has been overrun by Krokians! And yeah. Rut row. And let's just go in here. I'm looking for a specific house, and what does the thing say? New slash Spring Hill Bell, Tower Destroyed by Quake, Prince Seeps, uh, yeah, same thing as it said in the previous place. And here we go. This is the house that we need. So, we go in here. 
You're under arrest for treason, old man. Uh, no, he's not guilty of treason. What you're doing is a hostile takeover, so you're subjugating the populace. So I'm gonna kick your ass and save that old man. Curses, you'll pay for this. Even though, you know, there's two of us and only one of you and we probably could take you, but we're kind of bad at our jobs and we're not paid enough. The villagers were uh, hauled off to the palace. Everyone? I was the only one who escaped. Have no fear, I'll save them all. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Richard, hey, what are you doing? Whoa! Damn, Richard is strong as a frog. Pushy, aren't ya? How did you turn back? The bell hasn't rung yet. I bought a potion from Mandola. As usual, you solved your problems with money. The rest of us will simply have to soldier on until the bell rings. Well... What? The bell is broken? And you spent the money we needed to fix it on one potion? You- you cad, I see. You want to save the princess and keep her all to yourself. That's low. Lower than the Canadian dollar. I misjudged you. I misjudged you. Gee, uh, rub it in with the same text box, why don't you? N no Richard, it, it was Mandola. He's gone. It, it was all a big mix-up. I've lost my best friend. I think you have the wrong prefix there. Hey, I couldn't help but over here. It takes all kinds, eh? I'm sure you'll sort it all out. Huh? You seem familiar. That eye patch. Ah! Jam! Now I remember. Gotta go! Wait! I need a new best friend. Get back here! Come on! It's I'm accepting auditions. Please be a new, my new best friend. Eh. What do you want, Krokian scum? Watch it, I'm Prince Cake. You're not a Krokian? Do forgive me, sire. I usually only steal from Krokians, but I was so sure you were one of them. Now that I know the truth, I'm happy to help you out. How kind. By the way, why do you look like that? Heh, <laughs> I got this potion from Mandola. Thanks to her, I can loot the palace as I please. Are you gonna save the villagers? Take this, it'll come in handy. And we got the wristband. With it, we can now actually move the Lego bricks. At least when we're human. You want me to come with ya? No way. I'm a lone wolf. And sure you are, Jam. Anyways, I think that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're returning back to the final dungeon of the game. Again. So, until then, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.